Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of another Latrax alias clone, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I think Nihui, Nihui Toys? I don't know. Uh, this is the U807 drone. Uh, now, if you remember my review of this little guy, this is the U207 intruder, uh, which I kind of, you know, uh, you know, ranted a little bit about how I thought the name was kind of dumb. Well, this is their new one, and they've just called this one Drone, so not exactly the most creative with names. However, this quad is awesome. Uh, definitely the best Latrax alias clone that I've flown so far. It's still, you know, it's not an alias killer. The alias is still better, but this is definitely the best clone. Uh, really good looking. I do like how it's red, white, and blue, you know, especially being an American. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool look. Um, I do wish that they had, you know, two different color props for the front or whatever. Uh, yes, it does have the really bright, visible LEDs like all the Alias clones have. Uh, so really, that's all you need. But it would look cool to have, you know, some, you know, blue props or something like that. Um, the box here does show a black version. I think the other side, yeah, so... Here it says that there's a black version, and that does have blue and black props. So once this starts getting stocked, and if they sell the spare props, then maybe you could at least buy spare props and you know change up the color, which I think would look pretty cool. Maybe put the black blades on the back and the white in the front or whatever. Um, so I hope they start carrying some spare parts for this. I think it's going to be a popular one, and you know I would like to see that option of being able to buy my own. Uh, different color blades and it does have a camera version you can get it without the camera and if you get the camera version it's you know still very optional it's really easy to just snap off and unplug so you can you know change it right there on the on the fly if you want really really easy to take on and off um, so you're not forced to use it if you you know if you want to take it off you can uh, let me get it back on there um, it also comes with, no, I got it on crooked, there we go. Uh, comes with a 4 gigabyte micro SD card. Let's slide that in the back there. And the uh, lens is adjustable, so you can, you know, angle it down more if you want or have it pointed straight forward. And I've got this one with the prop guards on just because I think the prop guards look really cool on this one. Uh, they're very functional. I mean, they clear way up above the props, so you can you know you can touch the ceiling with these prop guards, and it it gives so much clearance. You don't even like get that where like you know sometimes it wants to suction to the ceiling. There's enough clearance where that doesn't happen. Um, they do if you like bump into the wall. It does still kind of want to pivot up like that and stick into the wall. So it's not great for like bouncing off the wall and continuing to fly. Uh, but definitely good to, you know, protect from falling upside down. The props don't, you know, between the, the canopy and the, the, the uh, prop guards, the props do not want to hit the ground, so that's a good thing. Um, so, you know, these a little bit more protection against, you know, hitting yourself or whatever. They don't work great for bouncing off stuff and continuing to fly. Uh, but I just think they look cool and it flies just fine with them on. Um, you know, it doesn't get wobbly or anything. It is, you know, a little bit less power when you've got them on. It can get a little, you know, wobbly after a flip and stuff like that. But, um, this is the transmitter, which is kind of funny. It looks like, you know, an old 80s throwback or something. Very old school RC look to it. Uh, but I'm not hating on it. I don't mind it at all, actually. Um, pre it's pretty nice. And, you know, hobby grade style a little bit. It's got a handle on it. Um, you know, the grips kind of come out here, so you got something to hold on to in the back. You know, if you're a thumb flyer or a pincher, you nice uh, grip. And there's shoulder buttons up here on the top. Let's see, we've got uh, the right bumper is flips, but if you've got the camera on, then it operates the camera. You click it to take a picture or press and hold it to start videoing. But you cannot flip if you've got the camera on. You've got to have the camera removed in order to do flips. Um, but for flips, you just hit the right bumper and move the right stick, whichever way you want to flip. Um, left bumper is the yaw or the, the rates, and you've got three different rates. 
and it only has one yaw rate, but it is a good yaw. It's not super fast, but definitely the fastest of all the clones, and plenty fast to be sporty and do funnels and stuff like that. Uh, so that was really the most impressive part, because all the Alias clones so far have been a little bit slow on the yaw rate, and this one is nice and fast. Um, it also says that, you know, it has a magnetic compass, so it has the headless mode. Um, but, you know, I've, I've heard other people say that this actually has a pretty decent headless mode that actually works well. But I can't get it to work. I mean, when, when I turn it on and move forward on the stick, it's... I, I can't ever figure out how to set what I want forward to be so that, you know, I can tell it the front of the quad is forward. And then, you know, as I go it you know it remembers that or whatever i just i cannot figure it out because mainly the instruction manual and it says it here on the box too is just super confusing and poorly translated so it talks about the left right control lever both is pulled 45 degree for magnetic compass calibration of non-head mode well 45 degree which way where and and i i found that it's it's both down to the left corner and it that you know the LEDs blink and stuff and it's supposed to be calibrating the magnetic mode but it doesn't seem to work I don't when I do that and I start it up and I turn on headless mode which you do by clicking in the right stick by the way um, when I do that it doesn't actually like forward is still not the front of the quad so I, I just I'm really confused and I don't like that mode enough to put much effort into it beyond that so uh, not really much help from me on that one. I just could not figure it out and I don't really care to try any harder to figure it out. Um, but then it also here, both of these paragraphs are the exact same. This one's not even pointing to anything. And this one here says left control lever is pulled 45 degree toward right down corner. Right control lever is pulled 45 degree toward left down corner. So what they mean is both sticks to the inside corner, but then what what does what? What is that telling me that that does? I don't I don't know. To me that didn't do anything when I did that. Nothing seemed to happen. So I don't know what they're talking about there. Um, but I did find that both sticks to the down right makes the LEDs blink, and I think that that's recalibrating the accelerometer. But I don't think it works, or at least not on mine, um, because mine does have this issue like I've had with some nanos where, you know, as I fly for a while, it wants to lean more and more to the left. And after a while, it can get really bad where when I take my hand off the stick, I mean, it flies hard to the left. And so I have to like land and let it think for a second and then it'll get better. But then it slowly wants to lean more and more to the left. And so, like, I've, I've tried recalibrating the accelerometer, like, at an angle like that, where you would think if the recalibration worked, as soon as it takes off, it'd want to go hard right, but it doesn't. So, I don't know if I'm not, if, you know, what I think is recalibrating actually isn't recalibrating, or maybe my accelerometer just isn't working right, or I don't know what the deal is there. Um, but I know it's just mine as far as the lean goes because I've heard other people talking about this and they don't have that problem. And even so, like, I, I still really like this thing. I'm not going to let that take away my experience from it because, I mean, that's only really seen when you're just trying to hover. When you're flying this thing around, it is really nice and smooth. It's just a great flyer and I just really enjoy it. Um, so anyway, on to the details, uh, we've got a 650 milliamp hour 1S LiPo. Uh, we've got a USB charger, spare set of props, a screwdriver, even have some little uh, gears which go on the motor there. A um, bunch of little screws, the prop guards attach with two screws on each prop guard. Um, so you've got, you know, even a couple of extra screws and I think, you know, probably screws for the props, the spare props. Uh, and then there's also a USB card reader in there. Uh, the battery takes about 45 minutes to charge. Uh, you get about nine minute flight times with no camera and no prop guard. So in its lightest form, the longest flight you'll see is about nine minutes. And you get about a 10 second LVC, so a little short on the LVC warning. 
Um, and the prop guards seem to take about 15 seconds off of the flight time, and the camera seems to take about 30 seconds off of the flight time. So in this heaviest form, you're probably eight, eight, eight to eight minutes and 15 second flight, somewhere around in there. Uh, let's see if there's anything else to say. Um, no, that looks like about it. Uh, so I think I'll, I'll go ahead and do a quick little indoor flight just to show it, you know, flying with the prop guards and to kind of show off that lean that I was talking about. Um, but then I'll take the prop guards off and we'll take it outside with the camera on. We'll do some more aggressive flying and do some onboard footage. All right, let's go check it out. All right, this is just a quick little indoor flight of the U-807 drone. Uh, just go ahead and kind of show stability and flight with the prop guards. And then we'll do a little night flight. I've got it on high rates. So there's our yaw, so nice fast yaw, and you'll see it flies just fine with the prop guards on, no problem. This thing is pretty cool. So, alright, and now let's turn off the lights and look at it in the dark. Pretty cool LEDs on it. Red in the back, blue in the front, a little green in the back there as well. Plenty visible in the dark, definitely a night flyer, no doubt about that. Alright, let's take it in for a landing on the landing pad. Oh yeah, let's show, so, there, I take my hands off the stick, it wants to go to the left. Hands off the stick, going to the left. Hands off the stick. So, you know, I can trim that out, but then when I, you know, when I do that, then the it gets all weird when it yaws, so uh, I think there's just something a little bit weird with the accelerometer on mine, but not a big deal really. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the, uh, the LCD has a backlight on it on the transmitter, so that's pretty nice. Alright, well let's go ahead and we'll take off the prop guards and then take it outside for a real flight and do some onboard footage. Alright, let's check that out. All right, this is the flight review of the U807. Uh, won't flip with the camera connected, so I've got the camera off for now. We'll just fly first, and then I'll put the camera on, and we'll get some onboard footage. A little bit of a breeze, I think probably five, seven mile an hour. Uh, it should be able to handle that. So there's our yaw rate, pretty decent. Yeah, definitely getting pushed around by the wind. This thing is nice though. Probably the closest to flying like the real alias of any of the clones yet, especially because of the faster yaw rate. Nice and smooth and quiet. It's a very nice clone. There's our funnel, pretty nice. The wind's pushing it off there. Let's do some flips. Why isn't it flipping? What's going on here? I think maybe since I turned it on with the camera on, it thinks it's still attached. I, I unplugged the camera after plugging the battery in, so let me go ahead and unplug it and rebind it see if that lets me flip that's weird all right secure the battery back in here sorry about the delay here guys kind of a learning experience there never really quite figured out the flip mode and the camera and everything so I only just now found out that you can't flip without the camera all right now let's see if I can flip yes there we go all right so weird if you connect the battery with the camera attached and then remove the camera it still won't let you flip well, there we go with our flips now 
Nice flips. Pick up the high rates. There's a pretty nice funnel. Look at that. Alright, let's go ahead and take her down for a landing. Now I imagine I'm probably going to have to re-plug it in with the camera on to get that to work. So I'll go ahead and unplug it again. I got the camera right here in my pocket. I'll just plug that into place. Alright. Trying to go as fast as I can here. Okay, put the battery back in. Alright. Alright. Now we're ready to do some filming. Let's see what my camera angle is. Looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and start the camera. Let's uh, check the indicators. Uh, hang on, I'm not sure I can see if the camera's recording or not. Yeah, there we go. Can't see that LED in the light at all. Alright, now we're definitely recording. This thing is really nice. Flies so well. If you're thinking about getting an alias clone, this is definitely the one to go with. And it's got headless mode that uses a magnetic compass, but that's not my thing, so I haven't really tested it much. But as far as actually flying goes, this thing is awesome. It's a little warm out here, so I lean my head back like this. I got sweat rolling down into my eyes. You can't see right now. Alright, well I think that was a pretty long flight there. Showed a bunch of different things it can do. Turn the camera off and bring her in for landing. And there we go. That's the Nihui, Nihui, I don't even know how you say it. Nihui U807 drone. Pretty cool alias clone. I even like the, the retro looking transmitter. Very nice model. Alright, we'll check the uh, video description for price and purchase link, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.